Look at that, fish busting. Woohoo! There they are, jumping. Vertical jig, yeah. some metal jig. Just jigging really, pretty much like we do in the UK. Vertical jig in, it's just been smashed. Look at that one, look at that. You this ready? one's annoyed, the one I've just caught. Look at that, look at that. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. That's insane. And that's mullet fishing here in Cyprus. That's how we do it. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. And welcome back to Paphos here in Cyprus. As you can see, it's another beautiful day as expected. It's 33 already and it's half past eight in the morning. Lovely. What I'm gonna do now is get in the, the go-kart and I'm gonna to drive to Larnaca, which is an hour and a half away. It's not a bad drive. As I've said to you already, it's just like fishing England and driving in England. I don't know why I said fishing. Um, it's beautiful. The roads are really empty and everyone just drives like nuts. Just what you want. No, it's not too bad. Right, a couple of months ago, when I booked this trip, on my Instagram, I just put a little post saying, does anyone know much about fishing Cypress? And the guys we're gonna go and meet today at KN Superstores in Larnaca replied and said, come over, come to our store, come out on our boat. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm very lucky. I'm gonna drive now from Paphos here. It's an hour and a half, but luckily the little go-kart's got aircon. Without it, you just couldn't be alive over here. As I've said, it's 33 degrees already at half past eight in the morning. <laughs> Well, we finally made it. I was a little bit late. <laughs> I missed the turning, which is, you know, back at home, I hate being late for anything. But we're finally on the boat, and I'd like to introduce you to Marshall. You all right? Yes, hi. How hi are guys. you? Yeah, all good, great. How is it looking today? Another good day. Oh uh, yeah, it's beautiful. One eight, of many. Eight months a year? Exactly. It looks like this. So what's yeah. our chances today? Just to let you know before we start, the guys wanted to go out a little bit earlier to get out at first light and maybe fish last light, but I've, I've got lots of stuff to do while I'm here. So unfortunately, the times we're fishing are probably not the best for you, are they? You probably wouldn't come out this sort of time. Yeah, but you know, with fishing, there are no rules. I mean, yeah, yeah anything could turn into a good day. Yeah, definitely. We'll so, so what are the chances today and what are we looking for? Look, we're going for Mahi Mahi, yeah. or Dorado if you call them. Yeah. So it's not ideal condition for them, but we'll try. It's fun to see the technique and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. And then um, after that, we will go and do some egging and casting. Uh, yeah. There's a rocky area, and then we can try to get some... Uh, still on? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. yeah we can uh, try to get some other type of fish. Maybe we'll try also the rabbit fish to give you the experience of it. Yeah, yeah. So we'll see. Okay, that's brilliant. Well, it's going to be a good day. The sun's going to shine. We're going to try our hardest. And what we do as the day comes on, we'll bring you back, talk us through our technique. Because I'm new to this, so I'm, I'm obviously getting a lesson as well. So hopefully at home you can see how great, obviously, Cyprus is and what the fishing has to offer. Awesome, cool. As you can see, we're just working this one under the surface and it looks absolutely stunning, just right. Just working it under the surface, mate, yeah? Yeah. You say it, it's a diving law, yeah? Yeah, just touching fish. it every now and again. Fish. Yeah. There, there's oh, fish. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Fish busting. Woohoo! Wow. We've seen a few birds working. It's not like the UK when you've got hundreds of seagulls smashing the water. There's not many seabirds out here. There you go. Oh, 
Well, so after that initial excitement, we've gone back to trolling for a bit. The skipper believes they're Benito, so what we're going to do now is just troll along for a little bit and hopefully get into them, but it's beautiful out here. I'm not actually wearing my mics today, so if you get a little bit of wind noise, I can't really help that. We're just out fishing and it can get a little bit windy in the daytime. Look how peaceful it is. We're just waiting for one of these rods to rip off. And then after we're going to go and fish for some mahi mahi or dorado or dolphin fish maybe lots of different names for them but they're absolutely beautiful and hopefully we can get them but it's a hard time of year and it's a hard time of day but no we're fish hard and we've definitely got a chance especially with these two guys so basically as far as you can see from that hill all the way to the chimneys and about two or three kilometers deep this is all uh, english army base so yeah. this is where all the battalion they live, all the soldiers with their families. And basically when you're inside, uh, on the map it say uh, you're in the UK. Okay. And also your phone signal say that you're in the UK. That's unbelievable, yeah. And also the once you're here, the English police will give you the ticket. If you're speeding, you get okay. the English police give you the ticket, not the Cypriot police. Unbelievable. So right? there are two uh, English uh, army bases, one in uh, here and one in Paphos, near yeah. the airport. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. So obviously being military myself and lots of the guys who watch my channel, some of you may have lived out here and how lucky you would be. What a beautiful place. Anyway, we'll keep fishing. This is the squid that we catch in uh, in winter. This is the bottom part of it. That's a big I'm squid. Using for bait. Yeah. This is only the bottom part. Like the squid is like about 12 kilos. Nice. So we're gonna cut some nice little shrimp. Yeah. Like this. Yeah. And then um, yeah, make this in half. Too big. Yeah, the mahi mahi like this uh, type of like a uh, fluffy type of... Uh, yeah, like in the UK we call it like a flapper. Yeah. Kind of attracts the fish. I should imagine it's the same. And this is the type of hook that we're using here with a little bit of octopus on yeah, them. Yeah, okay, I've got that. So, um, so this we will use it as we throw. There you go. Basically, this is our setup. We have a little weight in there. And then also we have another uh, weight. Okay. So to take the bait down. And then we're just going to troll these, yeah? Or just drift? Yeah, we will troll them about two knots, two to okay. two knots. Uh, the mahi mahi, they like about two to two point two knots. Anywhere between two and two and a half is okay. And also they like the little movement, so you do okay. a little stroke on it, so... I'll make this one a little bit bigger. And the Mahi Mahi, they're still small now, they're about 20 centimeters. Okay. But they grow uh, about two centimeters a day, one to two centimeters every day. That's unbelievable. That's all they do, they, uh, they eat continuously, like um, all day. They eat, eat, and they grow about two centimeters. And then... Um, as they get really big, they die after that. Do they? So they live about one year and then they die. The oh. female come back here and lay the eggs, but the male, they die. Oh, and they're beautiful fish as well. Yeah, so don't feel bad if you catch them or whatever, because... Uh, yeah, they only live they 12 months. Live. Yeah, yeah. Same like the squid. The squid also live one year, so yeah. don't feel bad to catch them and kill them or no. eat them. Not kill them, I'm No, yeah, but that's fine. Yeah, no, we're all, we all... Some people feel sad about the fish, but these fish, they live one year, they give birth and they die. Yeah, that's right. So that's when nice. do they... Yeah. You feed. We're yeah. top of the food chain. That's right. <laughs> anyway, we're going to do some fishing so and hopefully we can show you one of these beautiful fish because they look beautiful and they taste good too, yeah? Yeah, they taste nice. So as you can see, Theo's on the front of the boat. We have these big metal boys out here and they've got a chain coming down. So it holds fish, it holds bait fish. 
they see it as a little bit of protection and as you can see Theo's at front casting towards it and working his jig just under the surface hoping that some mahi mahi are hiding out and feeding on them so we're just going to creep closer and Theo's going to cast as you can see did you? have we got a fish? There you go. Well done. Hey, you want to bring it? So you can do it. You're all right, mate. Oh no, we lost it. Oh, that's oh, a good no. sign. <laughs> <laughs> we were just concentrating on law fishing. Uh, yeah. And the rod just ripped off. But they're here. Look at all the fish here underneath us. Look at them here. Oh yeah. There's fish everywhere. So hopefully you can see that at home. If you look in the water, it's absolutely steaming packed with like little sand eel bait fish. And as we've seen, we've had a run already. And on the sand, it's totally packed full of fish. I'll just show you around. Well, look at that. Look at this. <laughs> How are you fishing now, Theo? What are you well, up to? Um, using a soft plastic. Yeah. The pretty heavy jig head. Yeah. Jigging along the bottom. Let's see if anything is interesting. Or yeah. mid water in the bottom. Yeah. The water's so clear as well, isn't yeah. it? So yeah. if you've got fish on the bottom, they could probably see. Oh yeah, they'll come up and whack it. Yeah. So I've just had a fish. I didn't really get time to put the camera on. But Marshall's going to show us what sort of teeth he's got on him. This is a baby one, and look at what it does. So. Look at that, and that's a baby one. It's not angry enough, but uh, we will get an angrier one. <laughs> yeah, look at the teeth. Wow. Yeah, look at that. If you put your finger there. No finger. You're done. So this is a small one and um, literally very thick skin. So Marshall was just saying that they eat them in Japan, yeah? Yeah, seven years uh, you have to train to become a licensed chef to be able to uh, prepare them. And then uh, you have them sashimi, they're actually really nice. Um, taste very nice and the meat is really nice. Uh, they have like some yellow gland inside, uh, like a yellow bag. So this is the poisonous part. If it bursts inside them, yeah. it can make the whole meat um, kind of poisonous and then okay. um, you'll die if you eat them. <laughs> yeah. But it's once you understand the preparation and the concept of them, they're quite actually um, quite nice to eat. Yeah, yeah, I think I'll give it a miss though, yeah? So what we're doing now is a little slow drift for more of those rabbit fish. They're pretty insane, aren't they? They look like a little puffer, but they look quite cute until you see their teeth. Ugh. Anyway, I'm gonna try and get us another one on camera. Last time we just had a little drop down and believe it or not, I got one straight away. So that's my first fish here in Cyprus. But look, we're just moving to the location. I'm gonna drop down and we're gonna get one live for you guys at home. See if we can get a proper can muncher. Yeah? So what we've got is sort of baited sabikis. Drop them down to the bottom. Little bits of prawn, just like we get at home. Hit the bottom, just jig them up a few times. You are 15 meters deep. Yeah. Yeah, we're on top of them. Yeah. Yeah, all the way down. All the way down. Marshall's looking on the sand here, we've got fish all the way down to the bottom. Oh. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Missed it. Yeah, close the wheel. Yeah, 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 I got it, yeah, yeah. You still got it? Yep, yeah, yeah, I got yeah, this one. Bring it here. Here we go. It's a better one. <laughs> or two. Oh, he's come off. What are you using, mate? Just a 
vertical jig, yeah. some metal jig. Just jigging really, pretty much like we do in the UK. Vertical jig in, it's just been smashed. And there you go. And just like that. Well then, mate, Cheers. that's, that's going to crunch a can. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> So Theo knows what he's doing. You want to use a cloth? Look at that. Do you want a cloth? I've got one. Yeah. Here you go, I've got one there. Cheers. So Theo, you're Cypriot. Yeah, half Russian, half Cypriot. Are you? I spend a lot of time here. And there you go. And you live in the UK? Yeah, I live in London. So there you go. Listen to that. The sea is inflated, but trying to. Yeah. Um, and nice. You say they're invasive species? They are. They came through the Suez Canal. Yeah. When it was widened. And yeah. Here they are. Caused a lot of issues, but quite fun to catch. Anyway, we'll let this one go. Nice one, Theo. And there we are. I'm into a better one. We just seen Theo have one, and I've just got one on the baited feathers. There you go. There you can go. We sing it. Got some nice colour. It's a better one. Nice. I've got them in the side. That's why it went all right. Mm -hmm. That's the way to get them. I got... It's starting to get bigger. <laughs> that is not the way to get them, but they all count. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that one, it's puffing out. I don't really want to be touching that. So what I'm going to do is get this one straight back. Look at that one, look at that. You this ready? one's annoyed, the one I've just caught. Look at that, look at that. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. That's insane. And there you go. I've just been jigging out the back and I've caught that beautiful painted coma, which we've had before in Dubrovnik actually. But this is actually a really big one. So we better get it straight back. So there you go. What do you call that one, Marsha? <sighs> Normally you call it Barboni, but I'm tend to call this one a green mullet because yeah. the red mullet have a red line in it. Yeah, yeah. But this is a very nice eating fish. You batter it with some flour and yeah. Nice. Like they bought 30, 30 euros a kilo. Are they? Yeah. So someone gonna eat him or we let him go? We let him go. You can eat him for you? You will eat him? You will no, I'm okay. You can... Yeah. There let we go. go. Let him go. Nice. He's very lucky that one, yeah? Yeah. yeah. That's probably the only man in Cyprus that would eat something. Would everyone be fighting over it yeah. now? <laughs> anyway. If, if you... Um, Post this video in Cyprus, uh, they'll put a price on my head <laughs> for letting this fish go. <laughs> this is an ornate wrasse. Yeah. Not very big, but look at the colours on it. Watch your feet, watch your feet. Yeah, that's nice. Gorgeous fish. It looks like it's poisonous. Yeah, so these spines here, nothing serious, but if you get spined, it will go a little bit itchy. It's yeah. Tiny bit swollen, nothing major. Yeah. That's more mild than a beer stone, but yeah. yeah. So what I try and say to people is when you come out places like this, if you're unsure, yeah, just, just don't. don't touch it. No. Well, as expected, the conditions have got up this afternoon. The aim was only to come out for a few hours anyway and just have a look around and try for a few different species. Unfortunately for me and the guys, I couldn't really get here at first light and I couldn't fish at night because I am here on a family holiday. So we've just come out over daytime, which is never a good time, but we've had some great fun and caught lots of different fish. But we're going to make our way in. When I get in, we'll have another chat to the lads and get ourselves off to KN Stores, which is a beautiful fishing shop here in Larnaca. As you know by now, when I take you on my travels, I like to take you to a local tackle shop to show you around. But believe it or not, this tackle shop here is just like one at home. I could be anywhere in England and it's a good one as well. So this is KN Fishing Stores in Larnaca, right next to the airport and right next to the marina where I've just been fishing. So let's take you inside, let's have a look around. Everyone's super friendly and helpful and I can't wait to show you. And there we go. Super colourful. Look at all this stuff. Oh yeah, and it's absolutely cooking outside. It's 40 odd degrees. So when you come in a shop like this, not only is it full of great kit, it's got amazing aircon. 
look at all this. And there we go. Black minnows, just like we got at home. Some big ones. Honestly, everyone, you don't know how good this aircon is. When you're out at sea, as you probably know yourself, you don't really feel it. And that's why you need to cover up and wear sun cream. But now we've come in, it's absolutely cooking. So there's some slow jigs. Pretty much what I was using today. Look at this place. Just your normal grind bait we got at home. Everything's the same. So I'm pretty sure you know this if you've been to Cyprus before, or if not, you do actually forget you're abroad. Everyone talks English. Everything's in English. And now you come into a store like this, you could be forgiven that you are in England, but it's much better than that. You're on beautiful Larnaca here in Cyprus. Look at all these amazing floats. All ground bait. So pretty much like home. This we were supposed to fish with them tonight. Oh yeah, ragworm. Mm. You catch the murmura with them yeah. at night time. Wow, what a place. So when we travel, I love to show you tackle shops, but I've not actually been in one like this before. Look at these. Anyway, let's wrap this up. This is a beautiful shop here in Larnaca. So if you're in the area or you're traveling over, don't be scared. Come in, you can buy a full setup or bring your travel rod. That's what I do. Pack a reel, pack a rod, come in there, speak to the chaps and they'll sort you straight out with the kit you need to come out here and catch some fish here in beautiful Cyprus. Yeah,